In this video, I'm going to quickly talk about some of the possible side effects that are coming from ingesting a blue food dye known as Blue Number no. 1 or Brilliant Blue FCF that is extremely common throughout the USA and Canada. For those of you who don't know, this blue dye is banned in some European countries due to the health concerns. However, not surprisingly, the USA and Canada have deemed it safe for human consumption. Now, what are the possible side effects that may arise from ingesting foods that contain this blue number no. one dye? One study I found claimed that blue number no. one dye was able to cause kidney tumors in mice. Another study that I found showed that blue number no. one can cross the blood brain barrier even in adults with mature blood brain barriers, potentially making the brain more susceptible to toxic metals. There was also a paper that reviewed 27 clinical trials that assessed hyperactivity or inattention in children that were given synthetic food dyes, including blue dyes, and 52% of those ended up finding an association between the intake of artificial food colorings and behavioral problems in children. Another study claimed that blue number no. one specifically affects neurodevelopment and hyperactivity in mice and rats. And one very troubling study that I found claimed that blue number no. one can negatively impact mitochondrial function. And for those of you who may not know, mitochondria essentially give our cells the life energy that we need to live. They also play a key role in things such as our circadian clocks, gut microbiome, immune system, and hormone production, as well as much more. And when our mitochondria become dysfunctional or stop working correctly, we are put at a very high risk of developing a boatload of life-threatening diseases and conditions. Now, if you're like me and you want to limit your exposure to foods containing dyes such as blue number no. one, I will put some of the most commonly consumed foods that contain it on your screen right now. Just keep in mind that this is only a fraction of the foods and beverages that contain blue number no. one, which is why it's always a good idea to read the labels of any foods or drinks that you purchase or ingest. As always, if you guys have found this information useful, please help me out by giving this video a like and subscribing to the channel.